Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today we are playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and we're going to be talking about jewels management today or essentially how I earn jewels and then how I save jewels to make sure I always have enough for big events like anniversary that's coming up right around the corner. Now keep in mind my play style, I buy VIP maybe about once a month based on what's out, based on if there's something that I really like, I might buy VIP for that week. But other than that, I don't buy Jewel Pack E, I don't buy VIP every week. So this is more of a guide for free to play players and again, occasional, maybe like once a month VIP players to help you save jewels to make sure you have enough for those big moments. So let's go ahead and start, uh, start by talking about how I earn jewels. So the first one is super easy. All you got to do is just log in consecutively. So every five days consecutively that you log in, you are getting 900 jewels right off the bat. Now, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but when we think about it, so 900 jewels every five days, there's roughly about 30 days in a month. So when you multiply 900 jewels for five days times six sets of five days, that's 5,400 jewels right off the bat just for logging in. You didn't have to do anything. You literally just clicked tap, sign in, and then you head out. You get the jewels instantly. So 5,400 jewels just from logging in for the month. The next easy way to get jewels is just complete the dailies. It really doesn't take a lot of time. Really, if you wanted to do this quickly, you do three PvP matches, you fight one raid boss, and then you just do two whatever quests. It could be like Union Cross Quest, for example. And that already completes your 300 jewels for the day. Now again, 300 jewels a day doesn't really seem like a lot, but when you think of a 30-day month, that's 9,000 jewels a month. So when you take the 5,400 just from logging in, plus the 9,000 just from doing dailies, you're already at 14,400 jewels for the month, and that's essentially a mercy pull right there. It's just 600 jewel shirt short of a mercy pull. Now, the next best way to earn... Sorry, these were the dailies. These are the ones you do every day. The next best way to earn jewels is join a party that helps you do the weeklies. The weeklies are an additional 1,000 jewels just for completing them for the entire week. Now, again, we think back to about a month that has about four weeks. That's an additional 4,000 jewels right there, and we're up to 18,400 jewels for the month, and that is definitely enough to do a mercy pull and then some extra jewels in case you want to buy like an avatar board or you want to buy traits for a medal that you pulled or something like that. So we're at 18,400 for the month just from logging in, just from doing the dailies, and just completing the weeklies. That's already 18,400 jewels. Another way to earn jewels, and this is where it starts to get into the nitty gritty player specific kind of stuff. The first way to get additional jewels is going to be through Union Cross. Now remember that Union Cross boards have jewels in them, but there's not a lot in there. You literally have to do hours of work just to get the anywhere between like 300 to 600 jewels that are available in Union Cross boards. So this takes a lot of time, but it is a free way of getting jewels. So if you're ever just completing Union Cross just for funsies, just make sure you go and collect the jewels off of the boards. You don't have to buy the whole entire board. You don't need to hit unlock all. You can just spend up until the jewels and then move on to the next board. So that's another way to get jewels. Again, it's not very time efficient because it takes a lot to do Union Cross. It takes a lot to get those coins, but it is free. So you don't have to spend additional like real life money in order to get those union cross jewels so let's say every month you get about 900 max additional jewels just from playing union cross we're at 19,300 jewels for the month the next thing and this is based on whenever you have time just complete the story quest remember that not all story quests give jewels so just to make it easier on yourself just do all the story quests it doesn't take too long to complete a particular story quest and each one gives anywhere between like 150 for a lot of the earlier ones a lot of the more recent ones gives you a thousand just from completing it so right here a thousand jewels right there so that's just whenever you have the time, but that's an additional source of jewels. And not just the story, but also proud mode is going to give you jewels as well. So those are some ways to earn jewels. Again, on your own time, it's not refillable. But in case you're squeezing for those extra jewels just to do one more mercy pull, you can get them in the story quest. Remember that every month there is a raid week, a dedicated week where there are additional bonuses just for ranking high in terms of experience points, in terms of lux, and then if your party ranks high as well. So if we go back, because of course y'all know me, and I take the craziest number of screenshots, 
if we look back to uh, the most recent raid week, so let's see if I could find it here. If we look back to the most recent raid week, my party ranked 29th. That puts us in that range that gets a thousand additional jewels just from ranking that high. So you can earn, based on the party you're in, you can earn up to 3,000 additional jewels just from being in a party that ranks high just by giving some effort in for that week. Remember that a lot of the high-end parties are usually always recruiting as long as you can meet like a minimum lux or if you can press the lux button at a certain time, which doesn't take a lot of effort. You can literally leave the thing on auto and then potentially earn enough lux to keep you in the party and then that party gets like a thousand jewels just for ranking that week easy jewels right there so on average i get like a thousand just from my party alone from raid week not just that but on raid week remember that the avatar board that comes with the boss has 300 jewels in it so you just gotta defeat the raid boss enough times complete that first board that's 300 jewels right there so let's just say you're in the top party you get 3,000 jewels we're up to 22,300 joules. Then the additional 300 from the board. We're at 22,600 joules from all those things right there. So that's already a lot of joules. It's literally almost two full mercy pulls. This is eight pulls right here. Eight pulls are like one solid mercy pull and then some additional joules to save for future events. Uh, now, a general rule of thumb, especially with things like the big bonus challenge that are out right now... If you have to spend jewels to earn jewels, that's not efficient. You are not saving your jewels well if you're spending them just to complete content that gives you more. The only reason you should do this is that if the metal you're getting right now will, one, guarantee you'll clear the quest, and number two, it's a long-term investment. You don't just buy metals for one-time use only, and then it doesn't help. That's why a lot of my videos talk about longevity how long is this metal going to last is it going to be useful in the future because if you just buy a metal clear something now let's say you just net even let's say you spend 3,000 jewels to get a metal and then you get 3,000 jewels back that's net zero you didn't gain anything technically and then if that metal gets outdated you technically actually just lost 3,000 jewels so knowing that you shouldn't be spending jewels to earn jewels unless there's an investment involved that's the only case where you should be spending jewels to earn jewels like in examples like this big bonus challenge so if you're able to complete the big bonus challenge without any sort of additional help without spending any more jewels that's an additional 5,000 right there and that brings us up to 27,600 jewels just from participating in raid week again being in the top party is kind of hard to be a part of but even if you're not in the top party you're still looking at about 25,000 jewels for the month so ranking week daily logins daily missions weekly missions with a party um, doing Union Cross, all that stuff gives you roughly about 25,000 to 27,600 jewels a month, which is a lot, and you just gotta save it. Now, next we're gonna go into how I like to save medals. So the first things first, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't talk about this earlier in terms of ways you earn jewels, but every 50 levels past level 300 gives you one of these neat avatar boards that inherently comes with 5,000 jewels so every 50 levels gives you 5,000 jewels right there again it has to be past level 300 so level 350 level 400 level 450 each one of those is going to give you one of these boards with 5,000 jewels and that's again on your own time when you're able to get there just like the story quest when you're able to get there there are jewels waiting for you there so this is one way I actually like to save jewels. I like to keep them in places where I cannot spend them. If they're in this box right here, it makes me think like, okay, I've got this many jewels and then I could spend them. But if I keep them in places that aren't shown here, I can save them. So for example, right here, I didn't collect these avatar boards because I knew if I did, I'd be thinking them as spendable currency. In this form, they're not spendable currency. So right here, we've got 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 25,000 jewels stored away, not in the form of jewels that prevents me from like spending them. So technically, I have 52,410 jewels. I just only can use 27,000 of them right now because I keep some of them locked up like this. So this is one way that I save jewels. Remember how I usually say you want about 15,000 jewels in case like a big mercy comes out? That's just three of these boards right here. So let's just say I had zero jewels here. If I had zero jewels here and then something super great came out, it's like a must pull. You have to do it. It's the best buffer. It's something like that. 
I'll just be like, okay, I'll just hop into my avatar boards, collect these free jewels. We're good to go. We're able to do the mercy pull. So this is one way I like to save. Another way I like to save, and this is mainly for the people that have had access to this quest before. I like to keep them, again, in a form that I can't use, and that is in the form of these Riku and Moogle medals. So back in the day, and if it ever comes back out, these are worth 500 jewels every single time you sell them. I've got 31 here. Let's just say I wanted to sell them. So if we go here, that's 15,500 jewels right there. Again, it's not accessible to me until I sell these medals, so I'm going to keep them like this in case of emergencies. So that's another way I like to save and hold off. The next thing is that I keep them in my presence box. So here's my presence box. It's literally got every single login bonus from the past month. As you can see, this expires in 14 hours. So it's got all the mini Charithis in here. It's got all the random bonuses. Uh, let's see. Thank you for your patience on maintenance. Here's a bunch of stuff from the community stream, from the Union Cross Challenge. So I like to keep them in here because, again, if I keep them in a form that I can't spend them, then I can't spend them. I can't just randomly waste them. If I feel like doing a pull, I'm just like, yeah, I'll just do a pull. I can't do that if it's in a form that I can't use to pull. So that's one way, another way I like to save. And it can add up. It can add up really fast. So think about it here. This is 27,410 jewels. If we collect all our presents, and it's going to take a little bit. So all the presents have been collected. We are now at 33,510. So sitting in our presence box alone was 6,100 jewels. And that's another way I like to save. Again, just keeping it in forms that I can't spend it. Because if I could spend it, I feel inclined to. If I can't spend it, then there's nothing I can do. So those are essentially the ways I like to save. That's how I earn my jewels. Again, it's a long-term play. You have to be doing things consistently to get those high amounts of jewels. But once you do, all you got to do is do it for a few months and you're good to go. You develop this sense of consistency and you know exactly what to expect, what to spend on, what not to spend on. And in terms of what not to spend on, this game's been out for five years. There's a lot of people you have as a resource. You have me. You have Smelly Octopus. You have the Facebook groups. You have the Discord servers. There's a lot of people that have been playing this game for a long time. So if you want to spend jewels, you're not sure if it's worth it, just ask. Because I can guarantee you there is someone out there who is willing to give you that sort of information. If you, This is just for me personally. If you want to ask me, my Discord is right there. And I can give you off-hours help. I can give you non camera help i can give you non-youtube comments help through that discord right there so there's always someone to ask if it's worth spending your jewels on it so those are the ways i like to save jewels those are essentially the ways to earn jewels i hope someone found this helpful out there in order to save up again for those big events like anniversary that are coming up but with that being said that's the end of this video thank you all so much for watching as always if you have any questions comments or concerns feel free to leave them down in the comments below i'd be happy to answer when i have the time again for any additional help off hours or where i'm not on camera or streaming feel free to join my discord right there in the bottom that is the full link just make sure the capitals and the lowercase are all correct because it does matter when you're entering a discord link but that's all for now thank you all so much for watching and as always until next time take it easy